Welcome back to Ristic. Today we are going to look at a certain problem associated with our MagSafe charges. And this has to do with the connector part. In this case we have an L-shaped uh, connector which we are trying to use to power our MacBook but it seems not to be working. When it works you have to see the LED light coming up. First green then amber showing that it is charging. So what could be the problem? If we turn this uh, connector to the side, we will see that one of the pins is sunk in the middle one. Now this, this center pin of the connector is also called the sense pin. It controls a tiny chip that identifies the charger and controls the status LED. Therefore, if it is sunken, it's not able to touch our contact on the MacBook side. And hence, our connector cannot be able to power up. We can't see the green and the amber light. If uh, your charger is working properly, first of all, you see the green light, then the amber light. If it's fully, if your MacBook is fully charged, then you only only see the green light. Now, what could be the problem? Now, first of all, if you want to diagnose the problem, maybe this pin is stuck in its uh, hole, so we can first of all try to push each of the individual pins in and out of their holes to see if they can spring back up. Remember, these pins are, are, are spring-loaded, so to speak. If you push them inside, they should be able to come up because there's a spring at their base. And uh, remember to put off uh, your charger to disconnect it from the power source when you're doing this because there's a risk of a uh, shorting your charger and blowing it up now first of all we prod it with uh, anything we can especially if you can use a match stick it's okay but if that doesn't work then we move to the next step next step is uh, cleaning with a toothbrush now a toothbrush is important in all our work we've used it a lot in the past in our MacBook repairs but remember not to use this again for your teeth. This should be resolved for this work. So after cleaning, if the pin is still stuck, as you can see in this case, I may go ahead and remove the metallic contact part so as to have better access to the pins. Any plus, pair of plus will do. Use it to pull off the magnetic uh, contact point, that is the metallic contact point. And uh, if you look clearly, uh, closely, you'll see that there is uh, some rust or some dirt. And uh, as hard as view shows us uh, clearly what is happening, the pin is definitely lower than the rest. Therefore, it's not touching our contacts on the MacBook side. This middle pin works in a complex way so as to bring the interaction between the charger and the MacBook to completion and hence the charging. So if we continue to prod these two pins or the, the five pins, sorry, you'll see that they are a bit tight in their holes so our toothbrush still comes in handy here continue cleaning uh, firmly but uh, also be sensitive don't put too much pressure and break the pins or bend them now if you have a, if you look closely here the middle pin or the sensor pin uh, is uh, showing some signs of working properly now you can use some home dry cleaner but remember don't use water in this uh, stage or for cleaning all we want to achieve is uh, clean, neat pins 
which can move in and out of their holes without any uh, friction. There is much improvement in this case. Well, you can use your finger too to try to push the pins inside and uh, out or the stem of your toothbrush or anything solid and straight. The outcome should be a smooth movement of the pins in and out of their holes. Now our center pin seems to be working okay. You push it in, it comes, springs out smoothly. You can also use the metallic uh, contact point to push the pins in. This gives you a better view of the pins as they move in and out of their sockets or their holes. So we have managed to loosen the dart and to free the pin up. Let's see if our efforts are bearing any fruit or are born any fruit. Now we can't uh, test it directly, we have to return the metal contacts and uh, secure it with some glue. Remember to squeeze it in its position tightly with a pair of pliers after applying some glue on its uh, lower side. This is ensure that it uh, stays firmly on the connector. This seems to have solved our issues. You can see it has turned from green to amber, showing that the connection of the charger to the MacBook is perfect. We also turn the connector to the other side and see if it's working fine when uh, turned. This is working fine. So we've been able to solve what the problem was with this uh, connector. So you don't need to throw away your charger. It may be something as simple as this. Dirt or rust at the base of your pins or the pins uh, in the connector. If you clean them well enough with something as cheap as a toothbrush, you will achieve these results. Now our cable has a chip. We'll see how we can repair this in the next video. I'll uh, give you a link when you're done with that. Otherwise, thanks for watching.